what's up guys hope you all are doing well this is Tito back with another video and today in this video i'm gonna show you the three most important things of android p that you can get on any android audio running devices so without further ado more delay let's get into it so for this all you need to do is download these three apps and all the links for these will be in the description box below so do not worry and for my regular viewers yes i flashed nitrogen os again even though i said yesterday that os ip would be my daily driver rom hold on before calling me a liar guys and this is just because os ip rom has modded pixel launcher pre-installed so i couldn't install this android p launcher over that one that is why i am back on nitrogen os right now just for the sake of making this video i am pretty sure that a lot of you guys already tried everything that i will show you in this video but if you haven't yet this one is for you enough of that now let me get right into the launcher this is how the android p launcher looks like pretty similar to the previous pixel launcher no google now cards doesn't work over here to the left because i just installed the apk file the dock over here looks fresh to me it has a new faded look in it now which is rounded to the corners tap and hold functionality is working fine over here as you can see here is the launcher settings if you are into that and while adding widgets it might get stuck for you sometimes i faced it too because this is a ported app to get over this bug just lower down the font size or display size in your rom then it should work fine and if you swipe up to the app drawer you will notice there are three icons of wallpapers widgets and settings are partially visible in the layer behind the apps this is sort of a bug as of now and in the app drawer as you can see the background color is white over here it depends on the wallpaper let me change it to a dark wallpaper and as you can see it changes to dark and over here as you can see the scrolling bar and search color is red because i have set the accent color of this rom to red the launcher is smooth enough but only thing i miss over here are the google now cards to the left and swiping to the bottom to get to the notification drawer and now it's time to show you guys the reply app this is how the icon looks like once you have installed the app, make sure to give all the permission it needs. Do not worry about privacy because of course the app is made and handled by Google. As you can see, here is a list of messaging apps this reply app works with. So let's assume you have received a text message from someone. It will show you some suggestive replies for the texts. You can choose one so you don't have to write it yourself. So 2018, right? Now let's talk about the markup app. Once you have installed it, you can capture a screenshot and if you tap on the share button, you will see this markup app over here. So tap on it. Do note that this app doesn't show up in your app drawer. Here you can mark some areas quickly if you want to. You can choose the colors. Here is a look of my awesome handwriting and you can crop it out and save to your gallery or share with friends if you want to. Hopefully there will be much more features implemented on the final release of Android P. So there you have it. So that wraps up this video guys. Hope you have liked it. If you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here if you loved my work. This has been Tito from KT and Tech signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye-bye now.